What's going on everyone? It's Alex back again in the garage for another video. So if you haven't watched one of my most recent videos, um, it showed me installing my racing seat in my 350Z. And for almost all of last week, I drove the car every day back and forth to work. So I wanted to do a little review and give my opinion on the seat and what I think of it. I'm also going to talk about the benefits that the seat provides as well as if this is something I would recommend to do for your car that you're going to be driving every day. I would do this video in car, but the Z is very, very loud while driving. Um, between exhaust noise and gear noise from the solid bushings in the rear, uh, it's pretty difficult to do a video. It picks up a lot of that background noise. It's just kind of annoying on the video. So if you didn't watch my video, I have a fixed back carbon fiber racing seat that I installed in my Z. I also installed it without seat rails. So I have the side brackets that attach to the seat base and however I have it set is pretty much how it's going to be set once it's bolted in the car. It's not easy to move it back and forth or tilt it back and forth. That's something you'd have to remove the seat from the car and manually adjust by taking the bolts in and out. That doesn't bother me because once my seat is set to my preferences, it rarely ever gets moved and plus I'm the only one that drives my Z so it's not an issue for other drivers. Also, with it being a fixed back, the parts that come kind of beside your, your hips and your thighs, uh, there's no cutout like there is in a traditional seat. So it's very hard to get in and out. Uh, and that's something that you would, you would need to think about if you're going to be considering this for your everyday car. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So like I stated earlier, the seat is bolted directly to side rails and then directly to the floor. There's no independent movement with rails. Now if you compare the seat to the OEM seat, and pretty much any other seat for that matter, there's kind of that opening there by the door so it's easy to get in and out. But with this seat, this goes all the way up and down and there's no easy way to get in and out. So basically what that means is getting in and out of the car is going to be a real chore. You kind of have to like twist out, twist in and use your you know arms to support yourself and push yourself out. Now I don't mind this in my Z because I don't drive it every day. Um, she's mostly on weekends, nice days and then the occasional track day. However, for daily use, I would not recommend a bucket seat with a fixed back by any means. With your everyday car, you're going to and from work, school, you're going grocery shopping, you're going to post office, get gas, whatever it may be. So you may be in and out of your car 5, 10, 15 times a day. And just after the short week of daily driving my Z, it became quite annoying to get in and out of the car. Um, even though I really only took it to work and back, it just became very strenuous and annoying to kind of hop in and out, you know, with pushing yourself up, you know, on the console on the side of the door. But if that's something you can live with, then there's really no reason why you can't deal with that seat every day. I think a happy medium if you want the extra support of a racing seat would be to get a reclinable type bucket seat so that way you do have that space in between the back and the base to easily get in and out similar to your OEM seat. As well the fixed back seats tend to have a little bit less padding so they can be a little bit more uncomfortable than say a reclinable seat or the stock seat. The seat that I just got is actually decently comfortable it has some good padding on it but we'll see how that padding wears and see if it remains comfortable or not. My friend has reclinable Recaro seats in his Integra and they are super comfortable, easy to get in and out, and I could definitely see myself driving them every day. So bottom line is if you know, you're thinking about putting these seats in a car that's not your everyday car, I would say go for it. Get the fixed back buckets. Um, you know, if you're not going to be driving the car every day, getting in and out, it's not going to be a real issue. And the added support on the sides that the fixed back seats have can really benefit you uh, if you do you know, a lot of track driving or spirited driving. Now let's talk about the things that I like about this seat. Well, rather love about this seat. Personally, even though it's annoying, I can kind of get over the getting in and out of the car uh, with those seats uh, in place of the, the benefits that they offer. So after my first drive with these seats, I could immediately tell a huge difference. You feel much more connected to the car and it's just a whole different driving experience. Instead of getting bounced around between the door and the center console around turns, you know, you stay straight in the seat. Uh, you don't have to use any extra effort to maintain, you know, your straightness in the seat while going around turns. And it just really magnifies the driving experience and gives you a much better feel. I also love the fact that they are quite a bit lighter than the factory seats that I have. Now, as far as factory seats go, the base 350 cloth seats aren't all that heavy, uh, especially since they don't have the airbags. They're about 40, 41 pounds, I think they were. However, my new seat with all the brackets, all the hardware attached is 20 pounds lighter than my factory seat. Saving that much weight from a single part is pretty impressive. So not only was I able to save 20 pounds on the weight of the vehicle, but I was also able to achieve a lower seating position because of the side mounts on the seat. So overall that'll help to lower the center of gravity and in turn create a little bit of better handling. 
So far, I am really impressed with the purchase. I'm super satisfied with the quality of the seats. They're super light, the carbon fiber looks awesome, and the red and black color combination really blends in well with the interior color. So for anybody that's considering getting a racing seat, whether it's a fixed back or a reclinable back racing seat, I would highly recommend it. If you plan to daily drive your car, I would personally choose the reclinable seat over the fixed back. Simply, like I said, it'll you know allow you to get in and out easier while still offering uh, pretty good support. But if you're like me and you use your car infrequently and or just for track days, I would highly recommend the fixed back seat. It adds a little bit more support and because it gets rid of the mechanisms to, you know, tilt the seat forward to back, it's also usually a little lighter. So far, I've only driven the car on the street with the new seat, but so far I love it and I can't wait for track night to really test it out and see how well uh, it works. So if you're considering getting new seats, I hope this video was helpful. I hope I gave you some insight on my opinion and I hope it can help you make a final decision. If you have any questions or have anything to say, please drop a comment down below. I'll be sure to answer anything. If you enjoyed the video or it was informative, please give a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome, and please hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with the stuff I'll be doing. And as always, thanks to everyone who's supported me so far. It means the world to me. So, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.